Hello and welcome to MIP TV and with me is Bob Cook and he's going to be reviewing a book today. Um, it's number 11. We're up to number yes. 11, I can't believe it. And it's written by someone you know and it's the late Claude Steiner and it is The Scripts That People Live. And I know it's a particular favourite of yours, Bob. Yeah, Scripts People Live was one of the seminal books in the Heritage of Transaction Analysis. came out in 1974 and Claude Steiner was really the prodigal son um, of Eric Byrne in the sense that he um, was probably his earnest disciple. He um, always, until his death, in fact, which wasn't long ago, about ooh, two months ago, he was a dev devoutee of Eric Byrne and uh, sadly missed. But he wrote this very significant book in 1974 you know, about scripts people live and scripts in TA are, um, you know, we, we the idea that we create a life plan early in history with the beginning, middle and end. And we literally play that life script out and we look for people to fit into our life script and our, you know, our unconscious life plan in terms of reference. And uh, it's a very important TA concept. Yeah, and and scripts is as you say is it 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 really is one of the foundation stones, isn't it, of TA? Oh, and yes. it sounds like Claude Steiner wrote a, a very detailed account of it. Would you say it was a development on Burns' work? You said he was a prodigal son. Yeah, you see, uh, yes and no. I mean, Eric Byrne talked about um, uh, winners, losers, scripts. The idea, of course, that we, as I've just said we create our own destiny in terms of winning and losing. He also talked about um, scripts in terms of, um, you know, Greek myths mm. and fitted them into that. Um, Eric Byrne uh, was a real devoutee of scripts and he, devout, he created the whole idea that we need to analyse our scripts uh, in terms of taking charge of our scripts and, in fact, changing them and putting a new, you know, a new... Um, whole process together. Now, Claude Steiner took that a bit further and talked about how we analyse our scripts and we put our scripts down into what he called a grid, a script matrix. And we can look at the influences from the significant others, parents, you know, mother, father, etc., and how it influences the child and how the child makes early decisions that can play out in life. And his script matrix became very well known for students of TA to uh, use in terms of script analysis. Also, um, you know, he did go a bit further because he coined some, you know, different types of scripts, um, mindfulness, mindless um, scripts, um, loveless scripts. And he talked how, they, you know, talked about how they got played out not only in life, but in the uh, clinical treatment room. So it really sounds like a book to have for a newer ideas in TA, maybe, and, yeah. and a wider yeah. a wider view of the work of Byrne, developing on the work of Byrne's ideas uh, of scripts. Absolutely. And uh, he was a radical psychologist, so he did very much talk about scripts um, in the terms of the revolutionary ideas of the 1970s. So it was a developmental idea. Yeah, you're right, a development of some of the ideas of script by Byrne. What I like particularly about this, though, is it's a very accessible book, very easily written, very easy to understand, and a lot of humour in the book. Remember, Claude Steiner was famous for the book Warm Fuzzies and Cold Pricklies. Oh, you know, yes. Hot Stokes and Cold yeah, Stokes. Yeah. And it's a very... Uh, easy, easy book to read in many ways. Yeah, uh, but in some ways was the academic textbooks, but Clone was a much more accessible book. Yeah, especially if people don't know much about the idea of scripts, and students who want to develop more ideas on scripts. Yeah, so you mentioned students there, Bob. So it's it's a, again another educational book, something mm. that will wider the learning, take it mm. take it maybe into a newer dimension, bring it up to date. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I mean, many books followed, you know, and authors in terms of ideas of scripts. I mean, Richard Erskine, who we've talked about earlier in in our series here, he 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 wrote and edited a book in 
you know, 2016, so that's only last year, called Transaction Analysis in Contemporary Psychotherapy, where you got a, um, a lot of really learned, up-to-date uh, people talking about scripts. However, if you want to go back to the early heritage of transaction analysis, this is the seminal book. So an all-round book to have, one to have in the library, whether you're a student or a practitioner, oh. or by the sound of it, yeah. someone who's just interested. So maybe you're in another modality, but you want a taster into the world of yeah. into, into the world of transactional analysis. So yeah. not getting bogged down with the heavy-duty uh, <laughs> wordage or the academic uh, acad academic baggage, but uh, an easy an easy read to to gently get you in to maybe another modality. Yeah. So, and in fact, if you Roy, one thing, if you you go to a lot of TA students and many many people who have qualified, and you know I'm thirty years on, for example, they usually have this in their bookshelf. Ah, a seminal book. Right, it's, it's a craftsperson's book, Bob. Yeah, a yeah. really wonderful read. I really recommend it. So we'll put a link up at the end of this video so you can see it. And we'll also put a link in the description bar below if you want to buy it. Just mm. um, just at the, our usual disclaimer, we're not, it's not a paid product. We're not being paid by the publisher or the, the late Claude Steiner's estate in any way. This oh, is just no. Bob sharing his love of literature. And uh, as I say, we'll put the link in the link bar below. So Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Roy.